Be thankful for everything that happens to you. Be thankful for everything that happens in your life. It is all an experience, okay? So whether it is good or it is bad, whether it made you happy or sad, whether it made you lose an opportunity or you had an opportunity, whatever that happens in your life, be thankful for it. Even for the things that didn't happen, you never know, my dear, you never know what could have been the consequence. The things that you so much wish you could have had that you never had, do you know what would have happened if it had uh, if you had received it? Okay, and because you don't know, just be thankful that you are alive and that thing didn't happen, but other things have happened. Okay, so um, this morning, my motivation to you is that you may be going through a lot. You may be expecting a lot to happen in your life that have not yet happened. But Charlie, Charlie, Roy T. Bennett is telling us this morning that let us be thankful for everything that happens in our life because it is an experience, an experience that builds us, an experience that makes us learn, an experience that makes us go through something. So let's be thankful for everything. I hope this will help you if you take it along your daily life. Thank you. Today we are looking at anger management. Anger management. So what is anger? A day and cry near buffoo, ye can buffoo, a day near buffoo. Only me and Obedia to say a buffoo, a ye bibia, a ye natural. It is with us. Anger is very natural with us. Let me adjust my camera well. Okay, thank you. Okay, so anger is something which is very natural with us as humans. Okay, um, it is an emotional um outburst ah enipanya eye atinka bi a yenya wo yenipadua mu wo mura obi susu se ebi a obi a ye ne bone ana se obi e de na fa e kwan bi so a enye so what you are saying, in the Ebia, who feel it say, Obia, you be be a enye, and I say, Obi, anyway, in the year, emotionally, no, Emma, who develop, um, what do you call it, who develop anger towards that individual, and I said that thing now, I hear what's on, okay, now, said the medical canal, a before ye natural, it is natural with humans, in the it is very natural that over. Uh, sometimes we'll be beautiful, mm, uh, yeah, very natural. And sometimes even uh, it is very socially, culturally, you know, um, uh, to say um, social norms. In anger, ubufwa kaise emra uho. Kaise a sitina mu shesheye a ebo nipa ni nipa sitina mu ban e wo ho e na kan hu se common sense en so e wo ho a e wo se common sense no uhu e chira wo se nia wo ye wo ko over ana wo nko over obi be busa se anger e ye abufu no e ye bibia ye tumi de wo ana se ye timi heriti fi em ye busu mu and she shall more than a de say. A buffo and yet something which is in the genes. A near bossu no more. A buffo is something that we learn. And see, at the end of the day, so who are bofra? Can who say? A busia and a tre a bofra cassa. And a tre a bofra a nije. And a tre a bofra seni sifa a ye be bia. And see, a quire a busian a trouble franny who is yano, a year or more near how they behave at home, how they handle issues. That is the same way this child is going to learn and also handle issues that same way. So, in fact, anger is a learned behavior, it's a behavior that is learned and it is not genetic. Okay. Um, 
This is a very important notice that we have to know that anger it enslaves you. So we will be a umo wabufu etimi esha oso na wabufu na unti mi nyeshe na uti mi kase mi de mi bufua yam patame mi de mi bufua aji se ma ye we ye we mi de mi bufua aji se we isi ya na wohu se waye akwa ama abufu no. Okay, so anger enslaves you. And a banana, you become so vulnerable to mistakes. The piano unu for doing something. Okay, when you become so angry and 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 um anger fills you up, you become enslaved to anger, you always make mistakes that you regret later. Okay, and usually it blinds you. You cannot even see the future. You cannot see ahead. Because at the end of the day, relationships and friends that we have built around us, in fact, they are our guide into the future. Somebody will be your help to your next level. But because of hunger, if you are unable to handle anger very well at this level, the future will be bleak. Okay, and sometimes when 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 you become so angry that you are unable to control yourself, the anger override your sense. You realize that anger can override your sense. You don't become rational anymore. You are not rational anymore. So we these are some of uh, some cues we we need to we need to take, and we must also know that sometimes anger can be very contagious. Okay, so when you find yourself in a family, someone can be angry with another family, just an individual, and it can be communicated to an entire community, and it can even bring about unrest among communities and families. So we really need to um, take care of this. Okay, so um, when I was doing my research, I chanced on three basic um uh, types of anger, which I want us to look at. So when you look at, there are three that I I, I found. The first one is inward anger. And usually, no, they direct it internally. On control, bia ebanesa sani pano. It can lead to depression. Okay, you can have some depression thoughts, and also you can have some neg negative self talk. Okay, to yourself, and ebanesa na e ebre one kasa unhu unhu e tu mwa den ase. And ebanesa such people know they do what we call the self punishment. Nibuefu, so they can decide, I'm not going to eat, I'm not going to drink water, I'm not going to uh, talk to anybody, I'm not going to exercise, I'm not going to keep myself clean because I am angry. This is a sign of an inward anger which needs to be dealt with. The second type of anger is what we call the outward anger. And usually this type of anger, they are expressive. People express their anger verbally or physically towards others and objects that they feel has wronged them. And it usually um, uh, results in breaking of things, attacking people, shouting, cursing and doing all these things. So this one is what we call the outward anger. And usually that is what we see most. I mean, when someone does something that you are not so pleased with, um, you, 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 you get angry and then you, you kind of, um, express what you, you feel. Okay. You, you best out. Then we have the last one, which is known as the passive or the passive aggressive behavior. So this is another type of anger, which um, I, I found in my research. So with a passive anger or the passive aggressive behavior, this one, it usually leads to actions um, like being sarcastic or degrading towards others. 
okay? And then um, some too result in silent treatment of others and sulking. So they have become so angry that they don't want to talk to anybody. They, they just keep to themselves and become so violent when you try to approach them and, and those things. Those ones are the passive anger, which is also not very, very a good one. So what are... The common factors that leads to anger. And you might bang and a yeah, a lady to anger. In fact, um, there are some which are internal and there are some which are external factors. When we come to the internal factors, it deals more with an individual, you, your person. So usually certain behaviors people have taking on like alcoholism, depression, instability in life and all those things. They are part of the internal factors which leads to persistent anger, which affects humans very, very much. But when it comes to the external, what are some of the external factors? Okay, some external factors can even be anxiety, financial problems, uh, professional problems, family problems, relationship problems, all these can lead to anger. There are some factors. So what are some of the signs um, that we can see uh, as anger? So um, we should know that anger is a natural phenomenon, but it can be dangerous when not controlled, okay? So what are some of the signs? In fact, when one gets angry, the first thing to see is um, sweating, increased breathing, irritability. So you realize, this is a sign of anger. When you see that you begin to boil up, realize that you are getting angry. Mm, it's a clear sign. You begin to have some sweat on your forehead. Realize that you are getting angry out of whatever is being thrown at you. Okay. Usually when it happens, you realize that personally, when you are angry, you begin to hurt people. Hurting others either verbally or physically. So when you are angry, words that you utter, actions that you take are actions that hurt people. Okay, you should also note that um, uh, it can also be all you 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 are always found feeling angry. Personally, you will know that ah, this feeling is not normal. This feeling is not normal. Consistently, you feel angry about certain things. You know yourself, and when you are happy, you know. When you are angry, too, you know. Um, it also feels that you cannot control yourself for a certain action you are taking, either insulting, breaking things, or doing whatever. When you are angry, you realize that you cannot control yourself in certain things in that way. And you should also know that when you are so petty about certain things and you want to comment about everything, everything irritates you, then you should know that you may have an underlying anger issues which you need to deal with. So when you see the signs in you, whenever you are confronted with issues, then it was say who say it was say me 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 kakra and I say it was say me she niema binsum said the be ya me to me abua me hong okay. So what are some of the effects? Say a before bad bebrea in sunsun swa e bano e bini sing one. It says if anger can cause problems. In fact, it can break homes, it can break relationships, and everything. It can even lead to crime. And now, who call your prison, sir? You will need baby wawa a buffo and a do ma kodu baby a umwe duno. And check in my my church, there was this elderly woman. I was so kofani nyama ebet nane chain. It's and say, ni nu yani be mano. Be mano eni ne yuri e kum. A bufu e ba ye ene ba o bob ne yuri no. O ba ne to ho wan sorry biu. Me ne woka san be mani da en san wan prison. So if you don't control your anger, some of the effects. Eye, crime. 
okay? And other problems, destruction of properties and other things. It can also lead to cardiovascular diseases. In fact, any nipa be brain in a mwa almost also hypertension. And I'm a bufu, hmm, ah, omukra, ah, omun timi, and control on my bufu. So, when you are even too angry, some metabolic diseases like diabetes, which requires digestion and other things, cannot take place. You cannot reason. Okay? It can also lead to some disorder behaviors, like bulimia, eating disorder. Nibufwe was so didi ham, ham, ham. Because if you are calm, you Okay? Amma is here. Um... She is a psychiatric nurse, it, 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 or bear my contribution on that. That anger can lead to certain disorders, which is not very good for us. Equally, we can have some physical changes and harm to oneself. Okay, so when in bet me a muna, a bufu bet me a mo when in muna, ne enim fe 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 no na a say. Okay, and you can also have difficulty in thinking straight. You can't be stable. You are not stable-minded, and it can affect your mental health, okay? It can lead to accidents and injuries, as I have already mentioned. So these are some of the effects. So what is the aim of managing our anger? In fact, there is a very important reason to manage our anger. We, it's, the aim is to reduce both emotional feeling and then physiological read from everywhere. We need to be reading, read about it so that you can handle things very well, okay? There are some that, um, in fact, some of the management, you can do it individually. You sit, you assess yourself and you can do it individually. But there are some that require the help of friends, loved ones, families, and everyone. So, um, in fact, when you find someone close to you who throw tantrums, get angry so easily, don't leave them to themselves because they need help. Okay. Auntie, how can we manage it? I have some few points to share with you here, which is not exhaustive. So um, when you come on board, any additional ones that you want to add, you can add. We are looking at anger management. So how do we manage our anger? One, you must think before speaking. Okay? You must think before speaking because... If you are the one speaking, you don't know the recipient, how he might feel about what you are saying. And equally, if you are the one receiving it, then you make sure that what you are giving to someone is not something that is not going to trigger anger. Okay, so always think before you speak. When you are angry, think before you speak. Don't just alter anything. Think, think carefully before you speak. We know that action and reaction are involuntary things, okay? Definitely. Say, obi man and sasso so obe bo se siye ya. Obe man won sasso no odi aye den. Aje. And that is the same way. Sometimes action, words that people are speaking to you, will... Um, bring out an involuntary action. But please, before you do, think carefully before you speak. Secondly, express your anger in a constructive way. There is always a way to play around it. Express your anger in a very constructive way. Because at the end of the day, and if you don't express your anger in a very constructive way, it will um, destroy things. And that way, and it was a way expressing anger. No? Okay? Make sure you are expressing it in a very constructive way. Thirdly, you need to let go all grudges. So, obi ye obi bi na e ye o ya. You have to let it go because the more adini she umu no, the more ena jau e wo umu, the more ena bufu e wo umu, the more you want to react to this person. So you need 
Two, let go all grudges. And if you can, forgive. Forgive. Because if you harbor anger, grudges, this anger will grow into fury and it will grow into rage, which is very disastrous. So please, um, let go all grudges. And you need to stick with the I statement, okay, instead of you. So for instance, if someone does something which annoys you, like I'm there with my sister, um, my junior sister is on the platform, I'm seeing her. Um, if you, you, if she takes my dress or my shoe, which she hasn't asked for permission to do so, and I'm angry at her, I should learn to use the I statement. For instance, I can say, I am upset that you took my dress without asking. Instead of saying, why do you always have to take my dress without asking? There is a difference. In these two scenarios, the way I approach it, I place myself in, which brings some calmness to myself. Okay, so in dealing with your anger issues, always try to use the I statement instead of you. And try to also use some humor, but don't be sarcastic because it's not everyone who takes jokes. Some jokes can be very expensive for people. Instead of using the humor to even resolve anger, you realize that it is rather fanning the anger, okay? And you need to take some time out. When you are angry, you can walk out of the scene. Take a stroll, go and walk out. Go and breathe in fresh air, which will help you refocus, rethink, realign yourself with whatever that has happened and even make sense out of the issue, okay? And Last but not the least, you need to be physically active. In fact, when you are angry, you can divert your anger into exercising. And research has shown that exercise is very good in controlling anger. Why? Because when you are angry, you have a lot of the energy hormones, which is adrenaline, secreting in your body. But when you exercise, you have a lot of um, the endorphin hormones also secreting. And endorphin hormones releases stress, okay? It relieves stress. So at the end of the day, when you have endorphin secreting in your body, it calms you down, which is very good. So when you are angry, you can decide to do some basic exercises like brisk walking, Okay, like press ups, like skipping rope, any basic exercise that you can find around. It can be very helpful and um, you can really um, help reduce your anger. And lastly, you need to know yourself. You need to know who you are, the limits and the level your anger can go. And by so doing, when you realize that tempests are rising, you can bring yourself into a better position so that you will be calm, okay? So that you don't cause any havoc. As I conclude, what I want us to know is that anger is a natural phenomenon, but it needs to be managed when it is getting out of hand. We must also know that know yourself. Knowing yourself is one step of managing your anger and acknowledging your weaknesses, what you can tolerate, what you cannot tolerate, will also help you to know what and what to encounter and not to encounter. We should also note that anger is not genetic. It is not hereditary. You can pass it on to your children, but it is a learned behavior. Know when you need help and always ask for help. No man is an island. 
And we are all in this world to help one another. Deal with issues they find it so difficult to handle. So don't die in your anger. Don't let your anger destroy you. Today, you might be here. But tomorrow, if you don't take good care of your actions and inactions, it can land you in places that you may not like. This brings us to the end of our topic, anger management today.